Terra Sculptor currently supports 3DS, ASE, OBJ, STL, and T3D mesh formats. FBX file format support will be available soon in a new release. In this video, we will be discussing importing and exporting OBJ and STL files. OBJ is the alias wavefront object ASCII text mesh file format. STL is the stereolithography ASCII and binary mesh file format designed for rapid prototyping systems. STL binary is usually the better choice of the three formats since it results in a much smaller file size and faster file parsing. In all cases, TerraSculptor only supports a single mesh object in the file, both for export and for import. Files that contain multiple mesh objects will be rejected or may not import correctly. Mesh format should typically only be used for smaller height maps that are within the dimensions range of 8x8 to 1024 by 1024 Meshes larger than 1024 by 1024 pixels or vertices result in massive ASCII text files that require a lot of time to parse. A 4K by 4K OBJ file is a 1.93 gigabyte file and can take two minutes or longer to export out of TerraSculptor and an hour or more to import into 3D software. TerraSculptor provides a wide range of options in the export dialog. It is imperative that an understanding of mesh construction and specific parameters such as target vertex spacing is known before attempting to export a file. If your mesh is importing as flat in your 3D software, chances are the export vertex spacing is too large of a value. The vertex spacing will determine the size of each triangle and the chosen size is determined by your scene dimensions. It is quite possible that the scene that is being used might have a vertex spacing of only one. The Z offset parameter determines how the mesh will be exported on the Z axis. Absolute maintains the same elevation values as in TerraSculptor. So if the height map has elevations from 30 to 70, so will the mesh Z values. Range Center will adjust the elevations of the mesh so that the Z axis of 0 is at the center of the data map elevation range of 50. Object Center will adjust the elevations of the mesh so that the z-axis of 0 is at the middle of the data map, whatever that may be. TerraSculptor will export the mesh with z as the up axis. If the 3D software uses y up, be sure to check that option. X offset and y offset properties will be added to the export dialog shortly, along with an XY center option to allow for adjusting the mesh to be centered on the origin in 3D software. That feature should be available in the next build release later in 2020. When importing an OBJ or STL file into TerraSculptor, the mesh must be a planar grid mesh with perfectly equidistant vertex spacing. TerraSculptor cannot import TINs, which are triangulated irregular networks, or any other type of 3D non-planar mesh. In software such as Blender and Max, the mesh can be created from a standard plane and subdivided to the number of desired vertices. The planar grid mesh can then be distorted on the Z up axis using fractal noise or other modifiers, but the vertex X and Y values cannot be modified. If the planar grid mesh has randomized mesh vertex X and Y values, then the linear dimensions cannot be easily determined and the mesh will error on importing into TerraSculptor. An irregular mesh importer that uses ray casting is planned for a future release of TerraSculptor. When creating a mesh in Max or Blender for use with TerraSculptor, start with a plane and subdivide it into the number of segments that are desired. TerraSculptor uses Z-up orientation when importing mesh objects. If the YZ axes need to be swapped on import, you can force that by going into Settings, Mesh, and check the Swap Y and Z axis option. 